And this is a free API that you can either run on the cloud, like on a platform like DigitalOcean or Google Cloud or even AWS, or you can run it locally. It's designed to help you do audio processing, image processing, media processing, converting one type of media to another, transcribing audio into text or SRT files. A really popular feature here is to caption your videos. And then we're going to be using this where you can concatenate multiple audio files together into one. There's a bunch of different functions here that you can get access to that you would normally have to pay for through some online API, right? And so the purpose of this tool is to allow you to do all of these different actions here for free. Now, obviously, if you run them locally on your computer, it's going to be the most cost-effective way to do it. Otherwise, you have to deploy it on a low-cost platform like DigitalOcean or something like that, which is a lot cheaper than it will be to sign up for a bunch of different API services. But like in this video, if you run it locally, then everything's going to be free. Now, the other cool thing about the way we're installing this particular version of the NCA toolkit is that it's also going to come with N8N locally installed. So you don't have to pay for that as well. And it's also going to install a file storage system called min.io, which you would also have to pay for, where you can manage all the files that are generated by the NCA toolkit. Obviously, if you're generating a lot of media files, video files, you need to store them somewhere. And so we'll be able to store them on min.io. Now, again, if you use a platform like DigitalOcean to install this, and by the way, I do have install instructions for those platforms as well. DigitalOcean and Google Cloud are right here. A lot of people still use these platforms. Now, if you do use one of these cloud providers to install the toolkit in some other future project, it is going to be a lot cheaper than having to sign up for a bunch of different API services that are going to charge you to process media files and audio and video.